I walked in the comedy club. I said, this appointment got peaks and valleys. You're going to lose somebody you care about one. That's a valley. Somebody going to close the plant you thought was going to stay open so you can retire. That's a valley. Somebody going to fire you for an unjust cause. That's a valley. The people that got your credit card going to sell their company, going to sell their business to another credit card company. Your 18% go up to 26%. You don't even know why now your minimum didn't change because you had because it's life. You can stop thinking that life finna be easy because I got news for you, it ain't. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a, a, a wonderfully carefree life. That's unthinkable. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. When I lost my father, I didn't come out like I was before. I was changed. If you go through a divorce, a legal battle, a friend betrays you, eventually that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. Now, how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out with a chip on your shoulder blaming God, or you can come out stronger with a greater confidence in God. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. The scripture talks about how God is in control, not just of our lives, but he's in control of our enemies. Satan had to ask God for permission to test Job. The enemy may turn on the fire, but the good news is God has his hand on the thermostat. God controls how much heat, how much pain, how much adversity. He knows what we can handle. If it was going to harm us rather than help us, God would have turned back the intensity. In those tough times, when you're uncomfortable, going through a loss, dealing with an illness, you could easily let it overwhelm you. It's helpful to remind yourself, I may be in this fire, but I know who controls the temperature. The God who breathed life into me. The God who is for me and not against me. The God who crowned me with favor. The God who takes pleasure in prospering me. He's in complete control. He's not going to let it get too hot. He's not going to let it defeat me. I may not like it, but I'm not a whiner. I'm a warrior. I know I can handle this. You have that attitude, you'll come out stronger, increased, promoted, better than you were before. We've all heard the saying, no pain, no gain. If everything was always easy, we wouldn't be prepared for our destiny. Some of the things I face today, if I would have faced them 10 years ago, they would have overwhelmed me. I couldn't handle it back then. God knows what you need when you need it. Every struggle is making you stronger. Every difficulty is growing you up. Every painful time, even though you don't like it, it's developing something in you that can only be developed in the tough times. Don't complain about the pain. Without the pain, we couldn't reach the fullness of our destinies. Researchers did an experiment with bumblebees. They took them up into space to study the effects of weightlessness on them. The bees floated through the air with great ease, didn't have to use their wings. I'm sure they thought this is the way we were made to live. No struggle, no adversity, no resistance. For a few days, everything was great. But on the fourth day, something happened. They all died. They loved it being easy, no adversity. But the problem was they weren't created to not have any resistance. In the same way, we were not created to float through life on flowery beds of ease. We're going to the sweet by and by, but we are living in the nasty now and now. We love to not have any pain, loss, disappointments, heartaches, betrayal. 
That's not reality. Difficulties are a part of life. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in a position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you. And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now, I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now that are far greater than your complaining. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. If you could trade places with someone right now, and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher than you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment, but yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you, but yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right to just throw in the towel and say that it's over for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that the reason that you are existing in this world right now is because you have things that must be done and only certain people are qualified to take it to the level that it needs to be taken to. For there should never be a limitation to wherever it is that you are seeking and how far you are willing to travel and how far you are willing to go. Sometimes people tend to get a little lazy. Sometimes people like to put themselves in this little bitty box and just say that they are okay with where they are. There can never just be an okay to anything when it comes to that life. There should never just be a complacent mindset. How do we evolve? How do you evolve? How do you grow? One thing about success, there are going to be many struggles. There are going to be many challenges. And there are going to be a lot of things that you may not even understand. 